Welcome back to another edition of Eat My Shorts. Well, I have some glorious news in the sense of uh, I figured out some shit. <sighs> My mother's not been paying the bills like she said, and uh, now I get to choose which one of my firearms I lose today. And I had this fucking sprung on me. After she's told everybody else in the world her plan, except for me. So we need a car payment made. And so I, through my brilliant powers of fucking deduction, have figured out if I can ask my uncle for some help. And uh, he, he's a very kind of wealthy man, although he lives a very miser lifestyle. He's helped mom and dad out before. And so I get to tuck my toe in, you know, real deep in the stink and do something I don't want to do and ask somebody for help. Whitey Ford's getting real good at singing the damn blues lately. And people cuss me for my drunkenness and my debauchery. It's the only fucking way I can deal with this shit. Being a man and paying the bills fucking sucks. Sometimes it's fun, most of the time it's a bunch of shit. But I finally figured out what them sneaky damn women were up to. And now, as of course, being the man, I'm always the last to know these things. And of course, I'm trying to come out front and smoke me a thinking cigarette, right? Shout out to Lucky Strike, proud sponsor of the Eat My Shorts Network, and all of its subsidiaries, the Broken News Network, and even the Whitey Ford Sings the Blues segment of the show. You know, like... I used to be the kind of guy that shot dope at the end of the night out of a solid gold spoon. And I did a lot of good and a lot of bad shit in my life. And then I cleaned up my act. I got relatively saved. I fucking been clean over eight years. And I was sober five of those. And now no matter what I do, it's a what don't I want situation. Either I don't want to lose my home or I don't want to lose my car. But if we can get that bill knocked down to where we don't have a car payment every month anymore and I don't have to keep full fucking coverage and insurance on that Nissan, then we'll be in better shape. You know, I, I've tried everything in my power not to flip the fuck out today between the phone hosings and the in-person hosings and the bullshit and the drama and the, the fucking insanity that is my mother. And she knows I have a cigarette hanging out at my lip, gonna go out front and rant and rave for a minute, and yet wants to play in the gift cards, right? And wants to write a greeting card for somebody. And so I have to put the other one back. And it's like I try not to buzz out, you know? I try and save it for nighttime for when I'm losing my troubles away and chatting with my friends online. But today I have a feeling that I am like a box of dynamite with a very short fucking fuse. So I've tried to be patient, I've tried to be a reasonable man, and I've tried to accommodate everybody's needs, except for my own. And now, there's this fucking insult to injury that I'm gonna have to do something that I really don't want to do. But that's part of being a man, that's part of growing up. And as always, the Bills can eat my fucking shorts. Shout out to Bills and why they can go fuck themselves. And uh, as always, have a fantastic Monday and I will yak at you later when I get another idea.